Hello. I wanted to share my uh, couple insights with you. We just finished up uh, another Mastering Freedom Men's Retreat. I'm in Idlewild. I wanted to show you the view. Yeah, it's so beautiful right here. You can see the clouds and the mountains. So it's just a really beautiful location we got. We're in this uh, really cool spot. And uh, I was saying it's got a hot tub. Kind of see over there. And cool spot, but I wanted to share some distinctions uh, that, that came from this weekend in hopes that it'll help any of you listening. Um, maybe more focused on the men. What's up, Jeremy? How you doing, brother? Maybe more focused on the men because this was a men's retreat, so I wanted to just share some insights. And again, this is, uh, if you're just getting on, this is from uh, Idlewild, California. Just finished up a Mastering Freedom Men's Retreat. What's up, Tony? Tony's already on, Tony just left. And uh, what's up, Victor? What's up, Jeremy? So I wanted to share some distinctions we got from the weekend in hopes that it would help any of the men out there. Uh, just share a couple of them. We spent, you know, four days. Uh, what's up, Tony? How you doing, brother? Yeah, so I wanna, I wanna show you guys a couple distinctions and bring you in and, and a couple of insights I got from it uh, because I think this will be powerful. You know, you get, you get four men in the mountains doing deep, deep work of the heart and feeling into their hearts and learning to become better men. How do we live better lives? How do we, how do we step more into our purpose? How do we break through financially? How do we show up more for our spouses or our children or you know the things in our lives that we want to do where where do we get stuck where do we where do we self sabotage where do we self destruct and where do you go where do you go to take the masks off and I, I think it's important to share you know to me when we go up in the mountains we go up into a safe safe space like this we go in the mountains it's like how do we feel safe where do you go as a man where do you go as a man to feel safe to take your mask off you know to to get in your heart to, to reflect back at who you really are. And I wanted to share a couple of distinctions with you that we got, uh, but the, the moral of the weekend is, the message of the weekend is head versus heart. And when, when all of us, when you get in your heart, when, when I get in my heart, when we get in our hearts, everything is possible, you know? When we get in our hearts, everything is possible. So a lot of us as men sometimes forget how to get in our hearts and we can get in our heads. And when we get we forget how to come from the heart. I thought I could share a couple examples after spending four days doing deep heart work with each other, going really deep. Uh, you have a group of men where we're open, we're expanded, we're comfortable in our shell, we faced our, our dark and our light, we're at peace with who we are as men. And when we get to the same place, we realize we're not alone, we're all together. We realize we have similar stories, everybody has challenging stories from their background. All the men here, everybody's kind of got their own story and it's like, we're all not alone, we're all in this together. So I wanted to share this with you. Um, here's a couple of distinctions from the group. I'll kind of read these. It looks backwards to you. I'm gonna flip this and read them, but I think this may help you. Just a couple of our distinctions as a group. So, and my writing is miserable, but I can, I can walk you through it. So the head versus the heart. How do you know when you're in the head? The head is fast, the heart is slow. When you're in the head, you're in defense or in judgment. When you're in the heart, you're vulnerable. When you're in the head, you're charged. Like you have a charge as a reaction. When you're in the heart, you're more focused on connecting versus being charged to fight. When you're in the head, it's right versus wrong. When you're in the heart, you just have empathy. You're there with the person that's with you. When you're in the head, actually when you're in the heart, it's I see you. When you're in the head, it's making you see my opinion. Let me see, you gotta see it my way. So you know if you're in your head, if you're doing this versus I see you, I can see and see what your opinion is. When you're in the head, you're closed off. When you're in the heart, you're open. When you're in the head, you're desperate. Let me turn this around, it might be a little bit easier. I'm just, again, if you're just getting on, I'm just reading some of our distinctions as a group. When we're in the head, when the head we're closed off, when we're in the heart, we're open, we're expanded. You know, when we're feeling like anxiety or depression, we're desperate when those emotions come up, it's in the head energy. The heart energy would be grace, it would be surrender, it would be peace. The head would be dense, like a dense object. When we're in the head, it's really dense. The heart is light, it's, it's fluid. 
The head has very, very strong opinions. Uh, the heart just feels the truth. It just feels what the truth is. You know, the head, the head wants to control. The head is very controlling. Uh, the heart is about surrender. The head is about telling. Listen up. The head is about telling. The heart is about asking. So are you telling or are you asking? Right? Are you in your head or are you in your heart? Hey, sister, I'm just giving a couple. Um, the words are now background. Okay, let me do this. I'm going to do this one more time so you can see these. I'm walking through some big distinctions of the head versus the heart. So I'm just going to read the head. The head is fast. It gets defensive, judgmental. It's charged. It's right and wrong. It makes you see my opinion. It's closed off. It has, it's desperate. Um, it's anxiety, depression. It's dense. It's opinionated. It's controlling. It's telling. It's the past and the future. It's conflicting. There's conflict. There's ego and thinking. This is all head. The head is trying. If you find yourself trying, you're in the head. If you're in the heart, the pace is slow. The energy is slow. It slows down. You're vulnerable. You're connected. You have empathy. It's I see you. It's not I want you to see my opinion, but no, I feel you. I see you. You're open. There's grace and there's surrender. There's light. There's truth. You surrender. You're asking. The heart is present. The head is past and future. The heart is about compromise and compassion. The head is about conflict. The heart is spirit, soul, higher self. The head is about the ego. And probably the most important, you know you're in your heart if you're feeling. You know you're in the head if you're thinking. And look at this. If you're in your head, you're trying. And if the heart, you're being. And I just wanted to share um, one more distinction with you. I thought these were, these were kind of cool too. Some other distinctions is sometimes I need to ask for help. Um, I'll flip this around. You know, as men, I think sometimes we always try to do it on our own. And we, we're, we're just trying to be right. And we're trying to fix so again, sometimes I need to ask for help. As men, we need to ask for help. We need to reach out to fellow brothers and ask for support and ask for help. You know, we need to take a reminder to pause. We need to come from love and take a moment to pause. Pause will get you into your heart and feel. Uh, this is a big one. Little boy inside is our most gentle self. A lot of the work we did here as men is moved from these hard exterior masks that we carry to protect ourselves to this inner child, which is gentle and loving and sweet and pure. So you can find your, your inner child to, to connect with your gentle self, to connect with your kind self. Hey, sister, thank you so much. I'm so honored, so honored to be a part of this. Um, what we feel, we give. So we get to give what we feel. And um, embodiment. And, so, and I think some of the main ones is, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit down and just share a couple more insights with you. But, you know, I think the main message that I got from the weekend was, as men, we, we get so caught up in life. And as we're caught up in life, we're so busy trying to do and we're so, we're doing the best we can to try to be the best versions of ourselves and to show, the, show up the best way that we can. And so much of the time we're playing out these patterns, these patterns from our lineage, these patterns from our parents, from the fathers. And you'd be surprised at how many men didn't have fathers. They didn't have mothers. Um, they didn't learn how to be a man. Um, they weren't taught how to be a man. Um, a lot of us are trying to figure it out on our own um, to the best of our ability. And a lot of times there's shame and there's guilt and there's heartache. And we've had to put these tough outer shells on to try to function in life. And those tough outer shells allowed you to survive your moment. There's survive the moment that you were in, but now it's causing sabotage. So I just, I just wanted to share a couple of distinctions that we got from the weekend and let you guys know that like, hey, you're not alone. If anybody's watching this message, I see some of the men that are on here. Um, you're not alone. We're, we're in this together. You know, whatever you may be feeling, uh, a common distinction we got from the group is a lot of the, a lot of the guys felt alone. Uh, like I'm on this, I'm, I'm on my own Island. I'm very different from the group. I'm not like anyone else. Um, I have a different story and I, I just want you to know you're not alone either. You know, wherever you're at, wherever you're listening, whatever your story is. And, um, I believe we can connect in our heart. So the more we accept reality, the more we accept the good and the bad, the more we can accept our, our, our whole and our broken selves the broken and the whole, the more we can accept the truth, the dark, the light, the all of consciousness. It's like, it's just love, like uncon unconditional love. So I just wanted to send the message of self-compassion and let you know, like, 
Like you're enough exactly where you're at. And it's like, it's like this message of, like your ability to accept your light and your dark is your ability to be happy. And so I just wanted to share this message of like, from the heart, from my heart to yours, after sitting with courageous, powerful, strong, loving, supporting men, and seeing that we all have the same struggles, we all have the same challenges, they're different stories. But at the end of the day, we can come together as men, and, and I want you to know that your, your vulnerability is your strength. The new badass, if you will, is the heart warrior. You know, the new badass is the, is the man that's willing to look himself in the mirror and looking to love his insecurities, is willing to love his vulnerability, is willing to love the parts of himself that he sees as dysfunction and weak. He's able to love those parts of himself and embody those parts of himself and unconditionally love those parts of himself. And as, as the badass, as the man does it in himself, we can be there and see it in everyone else. And that's what brings you peace. What brings you peace is your ability to love yourself unconditionally. And unconditionally means you love your light, you love your dark, you love your brokenness, you love your wholeness, you love your weakness, you love your strength, you love all the aspects of sight of you, you love all of it. And in the unconditional loving and accepting of you as a soul, as an individual, as a body, as, an, as, as, a, as, a, as a being on this planet, you can unconditionally love others. You can be there to support your partner with absolute unconditional support and love and empathy without trying to fix them and change them and make them right and make them wrong. You just love them for who they are. You can love your children without them having to be perfect or right or wrong or feeling like you made a mistake or wrong mistake because you know you'll make mistakes and you know, you, know, you know we're not perfect. So I just wanted to share a message and some distinctions uh, from the weekend and just let you know it's okay. You're not alone. You know We're not alone in this. We're all in this together. And to really practice being gentle. The heart work is gentle work. Be gentle with yourself. Hey, Tony, I'm so glad you had an amazing weekend, brother. It was amazing, man. I'm so honored you were here with us. Uh, such a powerful, beautiful, loving soul. Um, and um, it's, it's a blessing. So I just want to say, uh, this is the fourth one. I'm going to keep doing these things, man. It's so good to be around men. It's so good to have a community of men to feel safe around. I'll tell you, I didn't realize how many men um, felt not safe around other men and didn't feel like they could trust other men. So it's just... It's refreshing to know that we can trust each other. We can build community of men who are strong, supportive, brave, vulnerable, loving men who can build each other up, um, support each other to step into our fullness, to, to support each other, to call each other out when we need the love and support that we need to to be the best versions of ourselves. So I just want to send the message out to say, I don't know if you're watching this and if you're a man, I don't know if you're watching this and if, if you're a woman, um, but if, if, if it's like, just the heart is the way, you know, the heart is the way. And I'm, uh, I get, I get a little emotional just, just feeling like, like we're, we're amazing. I just want to remind you. So if you get nothing else, like you're amazing, you know, like you're a miracle, you're a miracle, you're the, your existence, you're, you are an embodiment of a miracle. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're a miracle just as you are with all your good, with all your bad, with all the, the greatness, with all the dysfunction, all of it, just as you are, you are divine perfection in the, in the imperfection. And so I just wanted to share a message of love with you, share a message of hope. To me, this gives me hope for the planet to see us men come together without race, without religion, without sexuality, just with big hearts, with love that want to heal ourselves. And the irony is you have the secret to heal yourself. We all do in our heart. <laughs> We just got to feel, we got to accept ourselves. The secret to healing the rest of the world is actually healing ourselves and learning to accept and love ourselves unconditionally. And as we do, we can see the rest of the world through compassionate eyes. So I just, I'm just grateful and honored to be able to hold space uh, for men to come together, to, to, to hold ceremony together, to love each other, to uh, support each other and to get into our hearts. And I think the more of us that continue to get into our hearts, uh, we can become a force for good, um, become a force for, call it God, call it spirit, call it source, uh, call it consciousness, whatever energy created us, this body to me is part of nature. How do we become servants of this body? How do we honor this body? You know, how do we, how do we become gifts of the heart? You know, how do we, how do we serve from the heart? So I just wanted to send a message. I don't really have a plan. I'm, I'm just kind of uh, rolling with whatever flows and I'm okay in the space. So that's one more thing, be okay in the space. <laughs> I'm constantly learning how to slow down. Um, the deeper I do this work and get into my heart, uh, the more I am okay with me. And I think the more I'm okay with me and my dysfunction and 
the things I judge in myself and the things I've resisted, the more I learn to love those parts of me, the more okay I am in the space, the void, the emptiness, whatever you want to call it. So I just, I just wanted to share this message with you, a uh, message of the heart. Um, share some love, hopefully, to this message, to this vibration that I'm feeling because I'm just so honored and so grateful um, of what's possible because we, we really do have the possibility to feel peace, to feel joy, you know, to feel, to feel alive, right? To feel aliveness and like this sense of purpose and passion and, and, and gratitude for life. So I wish you all a beautiful day. I love you all. Uh, I see a bunch of you on here. Sunny is amazing, by the way. If you haven't seen Sunny, you need to check out her work. The same with Katerina. I was talking about you all weekend, sister. I'm so grateful for you. Um, so good to see so many of you on here. And I love you guys. And I wish you a blessed and beautiful day. And sending lots of love from Idlewild.